on Food Talk TV. Yes, please share the live. Please uh, like, tap those screens, and please follow me and follow Food Talk TV. It helps us out so much. <laughs> yeah, I stay really busy, y'all. I'd rather stay busy than just not do nothing all day. So I'm just so, a little bit. Yeah. Thank what? you. Thank you, Thrifted Roots. Thank you for the follows, you guys. Thank you for the likes. So I'm toasting my rice here, and I'm going to have rice here with my with my roast. So this is what I'm doing is I'm just toasting up my rice, and I'm cooking it with those seasonings. And then I'm going to add in some water because I already did the vegetable bouillon with it. So then I'm going to cover it and add water. So this is an easy way to do rice. This is how I do mine because I don't like boiling it in the big pot because I can never get it right. I mean, every now and then I get lucky and it's right, but most of the time it's not. <laughs> so I'm just toasting this up in some butter with a little bit of garlic salt, white pepper, and two non-salted vegetable bouillon cubes. And then I'm going to add water to it once it's toasted to my liking. <clears throat> so because you're showing rice, there's a lot of questions on washing rice. I want to address that. Uh, the reason why you... The only thing that you're washing off rice is rice dust. So you're just washing off starch. And a lot of recipes, a lot of rice recipes require starchy rice. Uh, I do wash my rice if I'm going to be taking pictures with it because washed rice is glossier. But other than that, there's no real reason to wash, to wash processed rice. And also, if you've got uh, something on your back that says enriched, that means washed to wash processed rice. And also, if you've got uh, something on your back that says enriched, that means that there are uh, vitamins sprayed on the rice. So if you wash your rice, you're washing off, washing off all the vitamins. We don't want to wash off them vitamins. So I'm going to take a little bit more and water. everybody, you pay more for enriched rice, so don't wash off what you're paying for. I got some croissant rolls here, here, I'm going to undo it. How many of y'all jump when these things pop over? <laughs> I take it like a champ. It's a jack in the box. I bet they're worse. When they stick an IV through your lungs, then. All right, so this is toasting up nice. So I want it to toast a little bit more. The bouillon is browning before the rice is. <laughs> uh, the rice has definitely turned to color already. It's already turned. I'm about to add in my water now. I'm going to do a cup and a half. Happy Days loves your apron. Thank you so much. I got it from H&M Home. So I'm going to let this cook here. Hey, Dennis, I haven't seen you in a while. 
He comes to a lot of my lives. Well, it's good to see you again, Dennis. I see him like every day. He comes to my lives. He's always like, hello, Ashton, what are you making today? He's so sweet. He's such a sweet. As a matter of fact, can you go over what you're making? I am making rice right now. And uh, I have a roast in the oven. I thought I had a lid somewhere, but I guess it don't. Oh, well. We just cook it without a lid. I'm going to get these started. I tried to turn my volume down as much as I could on my other phone, and it's really not letting me. So if you hear an echo, it's not my fault. We don't hear an echo. Okay, good. Baby, can you get me a cooking sheet? Gluten-free mama Ann is in the house. She's one of our awesome creators. She comes on, t she comes on Food Talk TV and creates on Tuesdays. Yep. Hey, y'all, please make sure you're following me and please share the live and tap those screens, you guys. So, I got my pretty little things over here. I'm going to get me an egg. Hey, I need an egg. Hey, brother? Yeah. yeah. We we I bought eggs and they're over at Ivana's house. Yes. Kat, you're right. Gluten Free Mama Ann is a behind the scenes superstar as well. She is also our social media manager. Yeah, I love Andrea. She's such a sweet girl. I need. Thank you. Thank you for the likes, Debbie. Thank you for so, the likes, Buck Wild. I'm uh, make my croissant rolls. My mama it called tiny. we call them crescent rolls, but I, I was many times corrected by someone in my life that they are croissant rolls. Yeah, actually, uh, Pillsbury uh, renamed them because they're not croissants, they are crescent, so they're spelled differently. Huh. Croissants are spelled completely different. So I know I'm already going to have a lot of extra time. So I'm thinking I'm going to make some cookies for the kids as well. I'm thinking I'm going to make some Snicker cookies. Mm -hmm. I just need one egg. All right. I need one egg. And we got some water in the bowl. Because it's Fuzzy, a, fuzzy. It's not my fault. So I'm going to mix this up real good. That's right, Dennis. Thank you, Gina. All right. I need my cooking sheet. I'm the only one that can hear it. I gotta spray this. I know that I put down baking paper and I'm still spraying it. It's just that I don't want to chance these things sticking, especially with the egg. So. I'm just going to roll these up. And I'm going to do an egg wash and I'm going to set them to the side until I'm ready to use them. Hey, Mikey, woo woo. We're glad you found us too. That's hey. just like Granny on the screen. She's also in the lower box if you want to see her face. Uh, if you're not following her, please follow her. Please make sure you share in the live, you guys, and tap in those screens. It helps us out a lot. And please make sure you're following us and sharing the live. 
And check out all of our other social media as well. You can find us everywhere. And if you miss this live, you can find it on um, Food Talk TV's Facebook or We are also on Pinterest. We have our own website, which is foodtalktv.com. Most of our recipes are there. We also have Cooking Club, which you can sign up for. Uh, There's a cost associated. Uh, It's $15 a month. That's less than $4 per group lesson. We cook every Wednesday, every Wednesday evening on Zoom. And uh, we just have a good time and we eat together. And you're going to learn a, a thing or two, a technique or a recipe. Uh, it's really a good time. I got to add some more water to that. All right. Now I'm going to brush my croissants here. Benita Malone is in the house. Hello, Bonnie. Happy birthday. Welcome, everyone. Happy birthday. Also, please make sure you're following us and please like the live and share. It means the world to us. Okay, I hear you. I hear you. Let's do another hour. So I am. So what are you putting on your croissants? An egg wash. Your crescent rolls. Your crescent rolls. I'm doing an egg wash on them. This is how my mama taught me to do them. And my mama's sister actually taught my mama how to do it. So, what's in your egg wash? Water and one egg. Okay. Heavily whisked until it's aerated, and that means until those bubbles form right there. Right. Well, you both get up out of this kitchen. I'm in here cooking. If you guys are just scrolling through, please give us a follow. <laughs> so I'm cooking the rice. I added a little bit more water to it because I don't have a lid, so the water's escaping. So, yeah. And I'm going to set these to the side. Renata, yes, you can add cheese to them. You can, add, you can actually put um, anything in between them as you roll them up. Is that a bamboo steamer? Yeah. You know, they've been selling those on TV since I was little. I make bayo buns and dumplings in them. I got everything in this kitchen, y'all. Hey, baby. Can you get my uh, hand mixer, please? Stay Strizzle one asks, do you ever do a, a fish fry? Yeah. Every once in a blue moon. Why do a cook? Hello. Thank you for the gifts. What do you need? Mixer? My hand mixer. Oh, um, when you say hand mixer, you mean... Uh, so now I'm going to make some cookies. Yeah. Why do a cook is, uh, is our newest uh, cook on Food Talk TV. Her show comes on Thursdays. Her show... I love you, Kev. <laughs> love you too. Yes. Savannah wants to know where you're located. I'm in Sweden. I'm going to add in a cup of sugar. And then I need a, I'm um, not a cup. That's one fourth cup. Look at me. He's got to get me all flustered. Over here. We can't plug it in up here. Can you over there? I guess I'll just mix it by hand. Gina, you're asking if we make a full meal, are we? Uh, and what are we making today? Yes, we generally make a full meal, and we make a couple couple different things whenever we're cooking. 
Uh, our lives are normally between an hour and two hours. During the week, uh, they're normally only an hour because ain't nobody got time for all that stuff, right? But on the weekends, uh, we can go up up to two to three hours. Um, she is making a roast. She put it in on her own live uh, a few hours ago. And at the end of this live, she'll be taking it out. Yep, and I'm also going to make some cookies. The light is going out for just a few minutes, a few seconds. And it should come back on now. We had to change the plug. It's no big deal. The uh, The food is still well lit, so. Rice needs just a little bit more water. How did she end up in Sweden? She ended up in Sweden because she met a boy. Baby, do you know where our Snickers are? Yeah. All right. I'm going to turn the heat down Hi. on that. All right, now I'm going to be making my cookies. I'm going to cream some uh, white sugar. I need brown sugar, too. Baby, where's our, where's the brown sugar that we just bought? Oh, it's on the counter. Sorry. All right, so I'm sorry. I'm so flustered today. You guys, I can't open this. Oh, Jesus. It's just plastic. It's just plastic everywhere. So much plastic. Hey, Stace Trizzle from uh, Viejo, California. I used to live in Vallejo, California. Different spelling. All right, so I got one fourth cup brown sugar and one fourth cup white sugar, and I'm going to cream the sugar and uh, the butter together. Hi, Kimberly from North Carolina. It's not, it didn't melt good enough. I need to put it over here. Laguna uh, Niguel? Laguna Niguel? So, guys, if you're just scrolling through, please give us a follow. We are Food Talk TV. We're a group of creators that all came together for the love of food. And we come to you live every day of the week. Right, I'm making uh, cookies, and I got rice going. I got um, I'm gonna cut up these Snicker bars here, and I have a roast in the oven. I'm sorry that I'm a, a little bit flustered today. I'm not normally like this. It's just that it's hard for me when I have two cameras on me, and I'm trying to <laughs> do everything. It's 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 a process to get used to. So if you can, please be kind to me and please share the live and like it and follow us and continue to support us. I promise you, it's not always like this. It's just sometimes you have an off day. You're doing great. So I'm just cutting up these Snickers now that I'm going to put in the cookies. So what kind of cookies are you making? Snicker cookies. Snicker cookies. And all my recipes can be found on Food Talk TV and uh, my link in my bio. Blurry Dreams is sending you very nice hearts. Thank you so much. I'm just trying to focus on cooking and see y'all don't usually see my face and I, I make weird faces when I cook. Cause I'm like, <laughs> like biting my lip or trying to like not breathe too hard because I <laughs> hear it because y'all always are like, Oh my God, why is she breathing like Darth Vader? It's because I have a lung problem. Is that good? 
Yeah. Just Mo 32. She's making cookies. Okay, Kat, we got you covered. Okay. So now I'm going to add in an egg. Yeah. I'm going to add in a tablespoon of baking powder. Sorry, not a tablespoon. Uh, two I was thinking about my biscuits and I'm like, no, we're not making biscuits, dum dum. Yes, Gina, uh, we have different creators every day. As a matter of fact, I will be cooking tomorrow, tomorrow evening. And I'm going to try and get off before the new Game of Thrones show starts because. Last time we lost half of our followers. <laughs> we're not going to do. We're not going to fall for that one again. So how much? Uh, how much flour are you putting in there? Two cups. Bobby, what was in there before the egg was uh, was half brown sugar and half granulated sugar. And butter. Yep, and butter. One stick of butter. 114 grams. The menu for tomorrow uh, is going to be uh, orzo, tomato, and shrimp. And I'm also going to be uh, making some fudge that came from uh, Sherry Skinner's channel. Take it up uh -huh. So I'm just getting these cookies together. So guys, always come here. You can all. Uh, this is a basically a teaching channel. It's uh, like the way the new the Food Network used to be before they became all game shows. <laughs> All right, so I got that going. I need to mix that together. And I'm also going to add in some buttermilk. Say, Ashton, here's a good question that uh, Roscoe poses. Um, and I know he doesn't mean anything by it, but it's a good question. Where is all this food going to? Are you throwing it away? I eat it. We all eat it. Who are you feeding today? Uh, David, myself, and the neighbor's kids. So it's a little bit dry. I'm going to add in just a little bit more buttermilk. Yeah, With Kimberly. You can't really measure it because you don't know, like, the humidity and all that so you just have to go and you get the right consistency I just need a little bit more yeah that's good Danielle said that she's glad she ended up here well I'm glad you wanted up here too honey Wow, Paula, that's nice. Battery operated? You just sit there and watch it work. So I like this uh, feature of TikTok because uh, it used to be when we first started Food Talk TV that the um, mixer would drown out everything. But now, for some reason, uh, it just ignores the noise. We don't really hear it. Can you get that? Off of there for me. Now I'm going to add in my Snickers. No, I can't. No, I'm saying no, I can't. My hands are full. Oh. 
Doesn't sit. Doesn't sit. If I can push them out. Like a... No, sir. Up here. What? They they come off up here. Oh. All right, so I'm right. pulling it off. Yeah. And that's funny because on my channel, they you guys would be in the box saying, "Lick the lick the uh, the paddles, lick the paddles." <laughs> you guys don't don't, uh, don't bother everybody else like that. It's because I got diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> you you got the sugar. Yeah. You got the sugar. You got the sugar. So I'm just gonna fold in these Snickers into my cookie dough sorry i like hiccups or something uh ice cream scoop please oh the one that releases uh-huh california huntress she's making cookies right now uh snicker cookies not snicker doodles but she cut up actual snicker bars <laughs> All right, that's a good dough. Howling it looks so good. Thank Lisa you. Lisa South Southart says that it looks amazing. Thank you, thank y'all, sweet ladies. You cover it with something. Cover it with what? Paula Walker just became the number one viewer. You go, girl. Pamela Walker, not Paula. You've got 20,000 likes. Let's see if we can double that. Let's Thank get to 40,000. Oh, well, do four times. Uh, Should make another sheet. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put them in the oven. Yeah. We gotta, we gotta move the stuff in the oven. So I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna move y'all over here and show y'all my rice is done. Right here, my rice is done. It looks beautiful. Yes, it does. Althea is either stating or asking if those are going to be soft cookies. Uh, I'm, I think they're going to be soft cookies. I'm not sure. I just do stuff randomly. Oh, okay. Sketchy Chef says, perfect rice, Ashton. You guys, if you're just uh, scrolling through, please give us a follow. We are cooking every day. I am going to start my corn, and I'm going to add in some uh, black pepper. Hey, y'all. I'm going to add in some black pepper to this, and some salt. <laughs> okay. All right. I was wondering when that was going to start. Jeff York says, is corn. Do you like corn, Jeff? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Snicker cookies will be on her uh will be on her website, yes. Well not I don't know. Wait a minute. Granny, do you have a website? Where's your document located? In the link in my bio. Link in the bio. Link in the bio. Go add some milk to my corn. So we got corn going, we got that going. A house with two ovens. I could only dream. <laughs> Sorry, I need to take a drink. Refill. 
Yes. Now, you guys, uh, the link in her bio, if you go to Food Talk TV and go down to her, you'll go, uh, be taken to her website, or I'm sorry, her TikTok channel. And uh, from there, go to that link. She has a document that has all her recipes. And I also, you can also find them, uh, most of them on Food Talk TV. Yes. Because I, submit, I submit them huh? to Frank, our website guy. Yes, foodtalktv.com. Yes, she sends them to our um, our website manager, our webmaster, who is Frank Strana on oh, TikTok. Frank is such a sweet man. Going to give it a taste. Don't burn yourself. How did it, how did it come out? Good. Good. So Robin, Robin Realty, who I think is one of your uh, moderators, is asking what the milk does as opposed to water. Milk makes it uh, stay sweet and plump because the milk usually has a lot of sugar in it. So it helps the corn stay plump and sweet. Frank's TikTok is Frank underscore mentor SF. If you go to the, if you uh, go to our bio, you'll find a link that has everybody's TikTok in it. This rice is really good. I outdid myself. Pat on my back. Mm. Oh, looks like granny is enjoying that rice. Mm. Hi, Lady Pisces. So I got the cookies going. I'm going to add this to one of the other cookies. It's going to be, it's going to be a fun You guys, for, for the rice, she used, um, uh, she used uh, bouillon cubes, almost put in a beef bouillon, but she pulled that out at the last minute. Uh, butter, and she toasted the rice, and then she had she had a uh, broth, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So my rice is done. I'm gonna set it over here because that's where the heat is. I'm gonna let y'all look at my cookie mix over here while the other cookies are in the oven, so y'all can look at these. I'm getting the hang of this. It's getting a little bit better. Okay. Are you still hearing that echo? Because we don't hear it at all. I hear it, yeah, but it's all right. Okay, because I know it's got to be bothering you. Uh, you know me. That stuff yep, gets on the so easy. <laughs> I get irritated with certain noises and sounds. Thank you, Deb, for putting in Ashton's uh, TikTok in there. Appreciate that. All right, y'all. I'm going to take a break for a second and tell y'all to please go ahead and follow Food Talk TV and please follow me and just and Cooking with Kaz. Um, please also go to our Instagram. We have a Food Talk TV Instagram. Please follow us there and please follow me on um, please follow me on my Instagram. It helps us out more than you know. And we also have a lot of other social medias like YouTube, uh, <coughs> Pinterest. Snapchat, Snapchat, our website, all kind of stuff. And I have a Facebook page as well. So you can always find these lives and everything like that. Um, still theirs if you miss it. So don't worry about it. And all our recipes are always put on the website after we get done cooking. Uh, next week we are doing a event. Um, I'm going to go Saturday from now on. And uh, it's going to be one pan meal. It's going to be one pan meals. And so all of our creators have gotten together and came up with budget friendly and uh, good meals that you can feed your family because I know we're all struggling. 
So I really hope that y'all love that and y'all will enjoy that. So I hope y'all tune in. Also, please continue to tap those screens and share the live. It means so much to us, really. We work super hard, especially, you know, our social media managers and our website designers and Kaz puts so much into Food Talk TV. So you really should uh, just follow him and just, you know, he he's a really great person. Uh, he got us all together. He started this. Um and for some reason, he likes me, and he puts me in charge of stuff, and I have no idea why. But I do the best I can. So You do and, great. Oh, and uh, let me remind you, Ashton, uh, when you're done, please take a picture and send it to our um, graphics person, okay? Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, and by, by the way, everyone, uh, uh, the person in charge of our graphics is Ashton. Just like Granny right there in the corner. <laughs> uh-huh. So I keep checking on these cookies. Because y'all, y'all are going y'all gonna lose y'all's mind. These things look so pretty. Oh my god, I did myself. I knew I knew that my TikTok name should have been just like Granny. I knew they're the reason why. <laughs> oh! So happy with the cookies. <laughs> Hi there, Savannah. I saw you uh, in another live. Who did I see? Yesterday, I think Trisha was live and and Bama was in there. And she was talking about Bama. No surprise, her husband is a graphics person. Yes, he is. He, he makes graphics for video games. All right, so I need to check on this corn. It's corn. A big lump of that has the juice. <laughs> How do you know that you stay on TikTok too much? What I want to know is why that song didn't come out two weeks earlier. When we had our corn series? Yes, when we had our corn series. Yeah, that kind of made me sad too. <laughs> me and Andrea were talking about that. Oh, my left leg is hurting me a little bit. Okay, so uh, scroll back up there, uh, Ashton. Look at Jennifer. Jennifer McIntyre or McIntyre. McIntyre. Do you see her uh, comment? Yeah. yeah. What do you need help with, hon? Come on, Jennifer. I know it's a 10 second delay. <laughs> but we're 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 here to help you. Yeah. Y'all please make sure you keep tapping those screens and please share the live with at least five of your friends and family. You don't know how much it means to us to have us stay on the FYP because we work so hard. <sighs> I Okay, here we go. She answers, I just want to learn to bake cakes, cookies, or whatever, because I have a lot of grandchildren. Uh, you know what? If you follow if you follow either Just Like Granny or Bama underscore uh, Sherry or Sherry Skinner, both of them do a lot of baking. They do a lot of baking on this site. And uh, if you watch them, you'll see that it's actually very easy. Uh, a tip that I've recently discovered, if you want to know, is um, cookie dough should always be thick if you want good cookies. Also, cream your butter and your sugar before you add anything else, you guys. You think it don't make a difference? It makes a big difference. And if you're using box mixes, here's another little tip. You don't know how long they've had that stored there. You don't know if that baking soda and those cake mixes are still good. Add one to two tablespoons extra of baking powder to your cake mixes, cookie mixes, brownie mixes, anything like that. It helps. 
And you can use, but I love to use buttermilk instead of actual milk for a lot of my recipes. And um, it it helps activate the baking soda because of the vinegar in the in the buttermilk, and I it tastes so good, and it gives it more air, so it makes it rise more. Bobby says she always bakes with butter and not margarine. Is that um, is that just anything, Bobby, or? Uh, do you bake with lard and when, when it comes to, uh, say, uh, biscuits? And Jennifer, I, you're welcome. Lard. Yeah. So I don't my, think I don't think you're I don't think there's a hard and fast rule on what fat you use. But, you know, if you have a chick, I would say lard for pie crust. I use lard for pie crust, too. Yeah, I I used to bake cakes for church. I would make peanut butter cakes, German chocolate cakes, red velvet cakes, carrot cakes. And so I would use box mix a lot of the times. And so, uh, but I added a lot of extra ingredients like eggs and stuff like that. But y'all already know that I can make cakes without the box mix. But I would replace uh, the oil they said to add in there with butter and mayonnaise. Uh, I would replace it with uh, the milk, with the buttermilk and eggs. So, stuff like that. So, I think these are about done. Mayonnaise is a buffalo noise, can I do? I don't think I understand that, Jennifer, but. Pamela, yeah, so good. And sorry that I'm running out of things to do. I know that we need to see stuff and do stuff. So I'm sorry. I'm trying. It's just that I got stuff that needs to go in the oven. A right way and there's my corn you can see it and then my rice is done my cookies should be just about done I'm just running out of energy I use actual pig lard for my biscuits and stuff like that and I buy that here in Sweden so I know that you can get pig lard at Walmart they sell them in tubs I think it's in the Hispanic aisle I'm not sure. Uh, you can find milk every, every, or I'm sorry, milk. You can find lard every place. Every place. There's not a store that sells oil but doesn't sell lard. It's yeah. normally in a brick. In a brick, and Crisco is vegetable. Lard is uh, from from meat. I keep checking on my cookies because I want them to be done already. So I'm wanting to be done too. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm trying. I'm just so no, sorry. no, no, no. I just want to see what they look like. Every time you look at them, you've got this big smile on your face. Because they look good. Okay. I'm just. I'm sorry. Also, if you're just uh, scrolling through. Uh, on Food Talk TV, we do our best to answer all the technical questions. We really do. Most of our cooks on Food Talk TV are longtime, uh, longtime cooks uh, who have been cooking for years and years and years. Uh, for instance, Sketchy Chef, who is also in the comments, say hi, Sketchy, so people can follow you. Uh, her motto is that uh, she doesn't follow recipes, fo recipes follow her. And uh, Granny, just she just, thank you for putting your comment there, Sketchy. You guys uh, give her a follow. Uh, just like Granny, she hardly ever, I, I think I've seen her with a piece of paper in front of her once, but she just knows what she's doing, so. 
But every once in a while, when we're making something that we're not, that we haven't made before, we'll, we will have a recipe in front of us. But the name is Just Like Granny. So I just like my grandma. <laughs> Thank you for the likes, guys. We're almost up to that 40,000. Let's see if we can get there a little bit quicker, though. Okay. Oh, there's those Snicker cookies. Now, those are going to deflate as they cool a little bit. And those Snickers are not. So those Snickers are going to pop out a little bit more. Yeah. But this is how it looks so far. And you want to try to get them when they're still a little bit jiggly in the middle, kind of. Because then that will ensure that your cookies are still like moist and stuff. So, I got cookies oh, done. Those are going to be softer cookies. And, let's see, 25 minutes. I don't know uh, oh, I know. Baby. Yeah. Can you get my roast out of the oven? I need to uncover it for the last couple of minutes. You guys, if you're just scrolling through and you're just discovering Food Talk TV, please give us a follow. Uh, also visit our bio and you can find links to all of our cooks, including uh, Just Like Granny, who's on the screen. Hi, Becky Lou. Uh, we are on uh, we are on Pinterest. We are on Instagram. You can find this. this oh, what are we looking at here? This is the roast, and I'm gonna uncover it now so that it can. Oh, son of a cracker! Watch, watch the steam. <laughs> wow! You need this? No. Wow! So I'm going to let this cook just a little bit longer in there and kind of mix up the juices so that everything's covered. Man, that looks good. This is my grandmother's recipe. I put sweet and low on my roast and everyone's like, why do you do that? I'm like, I don't know. My grandma did. But it tastes good. It looks beautiful. So I'm going to put it back in there for the last couple of minutes. So like kind of, you know, do the top here. Even the top looks like it's done already. Well, that's because I see before I put it in. Savannah, yes, uh, you'll be able to find this recipe on the website. If she hasn't put it up, up there yet. It'll be up there in the next couple of days. At the website, there's a uh, blog called In the Kitchen that has our recipes. Baby, also, baby. There's, a, okay. there's a another blog uh, just specifically for Cooking Club that has all the recipes. Because for Cooking Club, we post all the ingredients um, and many times the instructions uh, for what we're doing the next week. Gina wants to know how long the roast has been cooking. Three hours at 300 degrees. So as y'all can see, the cookies are starting to fall down now and do what they're supposed to do to look more like cookies. If you want a darker color, only use uh, brown sugar. Uh, not just white sugar because that molasses is what caramelizes and makes the chocolate chip color cookies, you know, the dark brown. But I did a half and half, and you can see a little bit of caramelization and brown in here, and that's what that does. But, yeah. So, if you have, like, a what that means. Thank you for coming, Bobby. All right. So my 
corn is done as well. I don't know if these cookies are done. No, they're not. Phew. I am tired, you guys. I have been cooking all day. I have been live all day. And these kids better eat every bit of it. <laughs> I love buttermilk with everything, but thank you for coming by. Ohio Betty, yes, she did make rice. It's uh, is just off the stove. 300 degrees Fahrenheit. I think 300 degrees centigrade would be an inferno. Yeah. Gloria says that you are multi-talented. Thank you. Savannah wants to know how many kids you have. I have no kids. I'm feeding the neighbor's kids. Yes, she is. Uh, she is almost done. So here's my rice. It's done. Oh, we hit forty thousand likes. Thank you, guys. Please make sure you're following us and please share the live. Please share the live, guys. The big reveal is almost done for for everything. Yeah. I'm sorry that it's taken me so long. I really have this planned better. Dancing Puppy wants to know if they can be your neighbor. Absolutely. Everyone's my neighbor. Says so in the Bible. Love thy neighbor. All right. These cookies on here. Proud mama of six youngins says that you are inspiration and that you're amazing. Oh, thank you. Y'all are so sweet to me. I don't even know why. Like, I'm not, I'm not even like, I don't know. Everyone just thinks I'm like so amazing and stuff. And I'm just, just myself, just a more so, person, you know. So we got rice here. We got cookies here. I need to check on the other cookies. Lake Life 750 says they can't find the recipes. Uh, Lake Life, I'm, I'm sure that you're just not looking. Um, we have a website. I believe that uh, foodtalktv.com. Lots and lots of recipes there. So, remember our croissant rolls? I'm going to put them in the oven soon. Okay. And Lindsay says uh, uh, she thinks that I want a cookie. She's absolutely right. I want a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> She's absolutely right. Very, you are clairvoyant, Lindsay. <laughs> they look really good, so. I'm yes. proud. Yeah. That's a good cookie. Sweet South Carolina girl. Cooking rice is easy. Watch our videos. You'll learn. Proud, proud mom of uh, six youngins wants to know what's in your rice. Two beef bouillon cubes. And water, garlic, salt, and white pepper. And basmati rice. Hey, kids. Can y'all start fixing the table, please? Huh? Can y'all start fixing the table, please, for food? Okay. Thank y'all. 
sweet South Carolina girl. Uh, you can also find this live and all of our lives on YouTube and Facebook under Food Talk TV. Baby, can you get the roast out of the oven? Yeah, I'll get it for you. Thank you. All right, I'll, I can't right now. Oh, sorry. Up here on the board. That's right. She has been cooking all day long. Ooh, there's that roast again. Yes, these are all recorded. I need a full one. Yeah. They'll be on tomorrow. This live will be on uh, YouTube and uh, and Facebook. I don't know if I can. I can't. I'm too tired. I'm sure that sharp, it is sharp. Is it? Yes, I'm okay. I had a uh, I had somebody at the door here. Thick. There's more. Why are you cutting it like that? Kind of like what? 45,000 likes. Boy, that just jumped right up. You guys are tapping your fingers away. Not very short. To slice it several times. You slice it by pressure. You guys, if you're just scrolling through and you uh, you're just follow or just found us, please follow foodtalktv.com. We are on or not dot com. Food Talk TV. Uh, we are on live cooking every single day right now. You're watching just like Granny, and she has her own very very successful TikTok. Uh, I did mention foodtalktv.com. That's our website where you can find uh, all our recipes. And even some that we don't do TikToks on. Matter of fact, a lot that we don't do TikToks on. Oh. Yeah. You can put the knife in there. I'm going to get a little fork and get a little piece. David, you've got fans saying hello to you. Everyone's saying hello to you, David. Hello. Bye. But there's my roast. He is hot. Look at that steam coming off. <laughs> hey, that looks so good. Yeah, it does. Looks really good. This must be another question that I'm not familiar with. Did this happen on your live? You can use mayo instead of eggs. Because mayonnaise, all it is is vinegar and egg. And oil. I'm sorry, you guys. I got the gristly part. Poor girl. Mm. I'd take the gristle. Oh, 
So Ashton, uh, the last thing that you're looking for is your um, is your crescent rolls, right? Yes, sir. I'm gonna put everything on the table right quick, and I'll show y'all everything. Owling tails. Okay, I see. <laughs> Blurry dream says, "Don't forget to take that pick." <laughs> yeah. When you get a chance, guys, go to our bio, find our creators, follow our, all our creators so that you know when they go live on their own channels. And we can all use the support. We put a lot of effort into uh, into our food. Uh, some people tell jokes and make uh, three TikToks a day, just like Granny uh, actually goes live two to three times a day, and she puts... She puts out real money for this stuff, okay? Real money. <laughs> I have corn here. Look how juicy. You, that's what the milk does. It doesn't let the, you know, when you cook it sometimes and the niblets get, like, sunken in. And you can save that corn milk water for soup. Yes. Debbie, she's serving everybody at her brand new table. And then my croissant rolls. Ashton, I have a question. Uh, do they have Pillsbury there, or do they have in, their own local? They have their own local ones, okay. and they sent me, actually, like a bunch of croissant rolls. Their local ones did here, because all of y'all been following me on Instagram, and they're, uh, like, in my numbers, so y'all's support has really helped me. No, she doesn't boil the uh, corn in buttermilk. She but boils the corn in milk. All right, guys. I'm going to take this and I'm going to show y'all what I made. Yes, Gina. Just uh, milk, and, uh, milk and butter. So this is my new table, you guys. And my chairs, it's a mess. But tonight we made corn, roast, crescent rolls, and rice. And that's dinner, guys. And I got new seat cushions, too. I like them. I'll show y'all more when it's cleaned up, but yeah. All right. Thank you for joining us. I love y'all. Uh, it's I'm very tired, so I want to go. So I'll talk to y'all later. Thank you for love joining you. us. Don't forget to follow. And until next time, bye now. Bye.